Have you ever wondered how those stepper motors are working and what is driving them? In today's video, we are going to talk about the micro strapper driver, which is responsible to drive the stepper motors. It is used in wide applications, such as 3D printing, where you have your stepper motor and your driver is built in in that box. Once you understand how does it works, it is easy to use. This stepper motor driver is a TB6600, which is designed for NEMA 17 and NEMA 23 stepper motors. What I hold in my hand is a NEMA 23 motor, which has a 41 millimeter motor shaft and a 2.8 ampere related current. Basically, we have to adjust based on the current and the boost number what we want to achieve this stepper motor driver. Now, let's have a closer look on the driver itself. In the top table, we see the pulse per revolution setup. And there are some deep switches and uh, you can set up those deep switches accordingly. How many pulses do you, do you want to do? per revolution. In the bottom table, which is a bit blurred, you see the related current. So you have to check your stepper motor related current. In my case, it is 2.8 amps and I have to set the pins, the S4, S5 and S6 accordingly. To keep it simple, I will leave the pulse per revolution as 6400 so everything as a switch i will keep it as off and only the deep switch 6 which is accordingly to the current table needs to be as on since my related current is 2.8 amps now let's talk about the wiring the top section is responsible for the signal to enable the controller to specify the direction if it's running clockwise or counterclockwise, and the number of pulses which is coming from the controller. And then the bottom section is responsible for the power itself. This is for the stepper motor driver and the bottom two section is for the ground and VCC. This can handle from 9 to 42 DC. And in today's Without in today's application, I will use a 12 volt power supply with a 12 amps capability, which is 150 watts. So first of all, let's connect the motor to the stepper motor driver. It is a bit tricky to figure out which color is which one. I usually recommend to check your vendor's datasheet because it makes your life easier. Prior to this video, I have checked and I have color marked each and every signal, which is A plus, B plus, A minus, and B minus, which makes my life much, much easier to connect these cables to the stepper motor driver. So, by the way, you can remove this plug and makes your life much easier when you wire the next set of the wires. And I really recommend to use some jump wires to connect the negative nodes of the enable minus, the direction minus and the pulse minus. So by the way, you can remove this plug and makes your life much easier when you wire the next set of the wires. And I really recommend to use some jump wires to connect the negative nodes of the enable minus, the direction minus and the pulse minus. And in the end, you can connect with a DuPont cable to the to your controller, which can be an Arduino, Uno, or any kind of Arduino type, even USBs. Does it actually depends from your controller type? So once the wirings are done, I will use the ground to connect to the ground cable itself. As of now, I will connect the enable also to the ground.
then I will connect the direction to pin number 2 and the pulse to the pin number 3. And at last, we will connect the power source, the ground to the ground and the voltage to the voltage. And now it is time to, uh, to test. The cables become a bit messy, but in that speed up diagram video, you will see more clearly what I actually did. So as we discussed the code itself, it's pretty simple. We have the direction pin as defined as 2, the pulse it's pin number 3. And we have the pulse per revolution as a variable as 6400, which we might change accordingly to the, uh, to the switches on the stepper motor driver. And we have a bit of delay which you can control, uh, which is there for controlling your speed. And then you are uh, in the setup mode, we are defining the pin modes, which is output. And uh, right away we are setting as a direction. It is low, so it is receiving a, a, a ground on the pin. There is no 5 volt. And then we just do a simple looping. In the simple looping is like, first of all, it will rotate uh, clockwise as one revolution. And then it will rotate after a pause as counterclockwise, one revolution, and this will move and move around till the infinite or until you are plugging out your power supply. So let's check. I have my Arduino Uno on COM port number four. I select it and I will upload the code. And as you see, This is, seems to be working. So if you think this video was helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the notification bell and subscribe to my channel. And leave your comments down below. See you in the next video. Thank you very much. I wish you a great day.